Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to talk you through quickly how to update your Spitfire Harp library to the latest and just released Harp Redux. So, um, the first thing is that we'll have downloaded the update uh, using the Connect app. Um, that I've left the RAR files so you can see what should be downloaded as well. Um, but that will result in a folder wherever you've downloaded it to that will be um, created here called Spitfire Harp Library. It'll have inside it your new instruments, it'll have your documentation um, with the what's new in 2.0 uh, file, it'll have your script file here and then it'll have the new extra samples um, which are contained in these three folders here. So what do we do? Right, we find our existing harp library. The first thing I would say is that if you want to retain backward compatibility with old sessions, if you want to be able to go back to one of your old sessions that uses um, the uh, programming of the old harp, um, for example if there is if you've put in a sequence with key switches and all kinds of stuff like that, then you need to make a backup um, of this either the whole folder, um, it's not massive, it's about 6 gig, or you can just make a backup of the instruments folder um, and also keep hold of the info folder as well because that contains the data that you would need for the old version of the harp library. I'm going to assume that for my purposes I don't want to be backwardly compatible. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to update and happily go on using the new thing. So, I can delete the info folder and the instruments folder. I can delete the UE art installers. We don't need those anymore. So I'm left with my Spitfire Harp library and inside that I've just got the samples folder here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these three folders inside the samples folder like this. So you'll see them copying over and then when that's finished we're all done there. We've got our Harp Redux Sphere 1, Sphere 2. The new samples are in there now so I can close that folder and then I'm going to drag over the remaining three items from my update download. So the documentation, the harp script, the new instruments. I'll just drag them in here so they're in the harp library at the root level. They're just right there next to the samples folder. There you go. So that's how your folder should look when you finish the update. Really incredibly simple. Um, that's all you need in there. When you run the Harp library for the first time, you'll see that the a new folder, a new file is generated here, called NKC, same same name, but then NKC. That is a local cache file, so don't worry about that appearing when you've run the Harp for the first time. But that's literally all you need to do to update to Harp Redux. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was fairly straightforward and painless. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.